Hey guys, it's Robert again from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives. So uh, we're getting ready to head out to the Drifter event uh, next weekend. We're looking forward to it. It's looking like it's going to be a really uh, busy weekend. Lots of things to do. Uh, we're heading off on our uh, club trip there as well, uh, doing a little bit of four wheel driving. Um, so we're going to head off in the morning, uh, I think around 9, 9.30ish. Uh, going to head out to uh, Balloomba Falls, which will be really nice. Uh, we're going to do this on Saturday. and. Uh, then we're going to come back and have a look at the lookout on the way back and uh, then stop in at Charlie Mall and probably for lunch because um, the walk out at Balloon before it probably takes around an hour, an hour and a half uh, if you're really slow, two hours but uh, it's, no, it's a nice walk, nice gentle walk, it's nothing, nothing complicated, anybody could go and do it so be, uh, if you're want it, looking for something to do, go out and have a look at the Balloon Creek Falls. There's two water crossings as you head out there, you'll see them on the screen there now. They're uh, nice water crossings, nothing, nothing complicated and uh, any, any vehicle can pretty much do them. Uh, you do need a four-wheel drive though, uh, when I do say that, any vehicle with a four-wheel drive can pretty much do them so uh, yeah it'd be a good, good thing to, to go and do once we've done that we're going to go off with the Mitsubishi Club and do a four-wheel drive trip um, I have put the offer out to some people you know if you're out at the uh, the event and you want to jump in one of our vehicles you're welcome to come along um, unfortunately because of insurance we just can't have everybody just tag along um, really sucks and something that I, it would be great if you could just work around but because we're running it as a club event you can't really have other people coming along unless they're part of another, another four-wheel drive club. The four-wheel drive clubs in Queensland have insurance on them and so uh, yeah so you need to you need to have some type of insurance unfortunately so that, that part really um, well, it's not the best, it's just the way it is. So um, I thought I'd have a quick chat about some of the things we've got here. Uh, went off to uh, Drifter today and we picked up the Oz Pit. Uh, that'll be for um, cooking our uh, lamb roasts and uh, beef roasts. We're going to put them onto the Oz Pit here, so we've set that up quickly. It's pretty simple to go together, eh, guys? Uh, just got a little clamp on it there, the little uh, stake gets driven to, into the ground, and uh, this isn't part of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, th then the, um, the battery pack and the, the, this part here just, just slides straight into it. So pretty simple to, to go together. Uh, we do need some type of um, temperature gauge uh, which we'll uh, probably be looking into eventually uh, just to monitor the temperature of the, uh, the meat you're cooking so you can get it, get it right. We were out uh, at Bluff Creek uh, last weekend or weekend before and um, we uh, had some roast beef out there. Philip cooked us roast beef out there and oh he did a good job. It was so tasty. That What he had on it, uh, he had this here. He had the rosemary, lemon and sea salt rub from Pitt Brothers and that was so damn tasty, uh, I couldn't believe it. it. It was just the best. Made that roast taste just brilliant. I mean, I, you could just sit there and eat the whole thing. It was just so nice. Uh, so we've got some of that rub, we're going to put that on. Uh, we've also got some of the gravy. So I was having a chat with the guys out at Drifter out there at Brendale and they said you've got to try the gravy, the gravy's the best. So we've got some gravy, we're going to give that a go as well on the weekend. So that should be looking, looking good. Uh, we were out there last week and we picked up some of the barbecue lamb rub. So we'll try that out one day as well and we'll see what that's like also. But uh, the rosemary one, oh, just yeah, it was just amazing. Um, some of the other things as, as well uh, we've got here, this is uh, obviously for um, picking up your pots. So when you have your, your, pot, your cookware on the fireplace, you're going to need something to get it off with. And so that's essentially what this is for. So in here we have our pot and essentially that just hooks straight on there and that allows you to lift it straight off. Uh, it's got a nice wooden handle, so you can get these from Drifter as well. And uh, yeah, it's nice and small. I like the size of this one. Uh, we had uh, one from our Oz Pig, and uh, it's just I don't know, it's just nice, small. It's got a nice wooden handle, good grip, and it's it's so solid. Uh, the other one we've got just doesn't seem to be as solid. This is just yeah, it's just made of really good quality. So uh, but we're going to give that a go on the weekend as well, guys. So uh, if you're around, come by and say good day too. Eh? It'd be really nice to catch up with everyone too. Uh, so we've got our, our Pitt Brothers um, uh, charcoal down there as well, so I'll be giving that a go also. And the other thing I've been wanting to hang, hanging out to try, it hasn't arrived, it just arrived uh, the other day, and uh, is this little sucker. I think, what's that? So this is a milk foamer. I like my coffees. 
and I like cappuccinos <laughs> and uh, so I like a frothy milk you know it's, it's just I don't know my mum had it when she was younger and and uh, I always used to love that type of stuff so and uh, anyway so that's what this is it's a milk frother and uh, so essentially you put your warm milk in there and you just froth, move this up and down it just it froths your milk up as well come a little bag as well guys so you can store your, your milk frother in there little uh, fold out handles on the side so it just closes up uh, and uh, then you can put that back in your bag there as well so I'm really I've been hanging out to try that one it uh, only just turned up the other day so it, uh, looking forward to that as well uh, we, about a week or two ago I went and picked up some um, sleeping bag I'm sorry sleep, not sleeping bag pillow bags I'll get that right eventually picked up some pillow bags from Drifter uh, these are great uh, because you know when you're, you're camping and you, you chuck everything out of your tent and that and it just gets dirty uh, this one, these things here you can do this from inside your tent just grab your, your pillow and then just chuck it inside your bag and then she velcros up and then you can just chuck that out on the ground don't need to worry about it it'll it'll keep it looking good and I uh, don't need to get dirt or water or if it's raining or that type of stuff don't need to worry about that either so uh, they're just some of the things that we've uh, picked up recently I thought I'd come on quickly and just show you what we've got there and uh, it's just a real short episode this one guys hope you've enjoyed that uh, get on the drifter side go have a look and see what they've got there as well and uh, we've got the uh, the uh, heater heater we've been working on the heater that heater is pretty much ready to go uh, we've already finished it off and the video has been made we're releasing that shortly and uh, we'll be showing you how we finished off the heater as well it's it's been fascinating because eh? over the past couple of days she's uh, started to warm up so I don't think I'll be taking the heater but uh, we've got it there for next time anyway so uh, anyway guys we will catch you at the event come by and say good day and I'd uh, love to meet up with you then bye then talk to you later